The radius of a circular oil spill in feet after t minutes is given by r of t equals the square root of 16 t. We're asked to find the instantaneous rate at which the radius is growing after 35 minutes, and we're told to give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places. Below I've graphed r of t on the coordinate plane, which is the blue curve. I've also graphed the tangent line at t equals 35 minutes, which is this red line. The slope of the red tangent line will give us the instantaneous rate at which the radius is growing after t equals 35 minutes, which means we will need to determine the derivative of r of t to determine the instantaneous rate at which the radius is growing after 35 minutes. Before we find the derivative function though, notice how we can simplify r of t because r of t is equal to the square root of 16 t and 16 is a perfect square. So we are given r of t equals the square root of 16 t, but 16 is equal to four times four, giving us the square root of four squared times t, and the square root of four squared is equal to four. R of t simplifies to four square root t. But from here, to find the derivative function, we also need to write the square root of t using the irrational exponent of one half. The rational exponent is one half because the exponent on t under the square root is one, and the index for each square root is two. So we can write r of t as four t to the power of one half. And now let's work on determining r prime of t. r prime of t is equal to the derivative of four t to the one half with respect to t, which is equal to four times the derivative of t to the one half, which is one half times t to the power of one half minus one, Simplifying, we have two t to the power of one half minus one is negative one half, which we can also write as two divided by t to the power of positive one half. And we can also write t to the one half as the square root of t, and write r prime of t as two divided by square root t. And now we can determine the instantaneous rate at which the radius is growing after t equals 35 minutes by determining r prime of 35. r prime of 35 is equal to two divided by the square root of 35, and we're told to round to three decimal places, which gives us 0 0.338. And now we know the radius is growing at a rate of approximately 0 0.338 feet per minute, after t equals 35 minutes. It's important to remember here, this is the instantaneous rate at which the radius is growing at t equals 35 minutes. Any other time, the rate at which the radius is growing would be different and 0 0.338 is also the approximate slope of the tangent line to the curve given by r of t at t equals 35 minutes, which is the slope of the red tangent line we see graphed on the right. I hope you found this helpful.